Hey, how's it going? This is Roy from <laughs> How's it going? This is Roy from Rate My Funeral. That was Rate, by the way. So a quick and easy-ish, I think, one. We're gonna print a bullet bill, and we'll do it at 150% scale, just because we can. Yeah. Let's uh, let's get it printed first. Let's start there. See, all the parts are printed and these are them here. Now the teeth, you may have noticed, I did using supports because they printed upright. Everything else just printed as was and has come out rather well, I think. We've got a nice thread on here and this is, this is going on that thread beautifully. It really is working well. So now let's try and put it together. Now I have a feeling that this is going to be a bit of a sod to actually get all the bits in the right gaps. But we're going to give it a go! I really don't want to have to get the Dremel out. Eyeball. When all else is failing, pull out the big pliers. Okay, so I have my pupils into my eyes. Now we've just got to try and get them in here. Now, I don't know whether I'm supposed to actually put them in here first. I don't think I am because they'll stick out too much. So no, this has got to go in here. Correct eye in the correct side would be a good start. But, I mean, it looks great. That's a start, but yeah, they're just not staying. Right. <laughs> it's just keep falling out. Before I totally smash this up, just look at that layer though. That bottom layer on the red. Is that not just so beautiful? There you go, there's the angle. Oh, look at that! It was just gorgeous! Right, I've got there. So, next is the teeth. Let's see if we can get these things in. Oh, that was easy enough. So I can get the bottom, the top teeth in, fine. The bottom teeth I'm having some trouble with, so I'm gonna put the bottom, the base on, and then try. So I'm hoping that'll hold it a bit more still. The way that thread works is amazing. Just give it a little squeeze there. There we go, there we go, I felt it go. Right, that was what it needed. Just needed a little squeeze. So we'll get that one, the bottom and the top. That's looking good. Ta-da! Wow, that is really cool. I mean, the, the, the red on the white is so striking and like with the black on the eyes, 
It looks really smart. So yeah, so great model. It was a bit of a sod to put together, but I didn't need to sand anything, rub anything down, or I didn't need to do anything. It was just a case of clicking it together in the right order. So put the blacks into the eyes first, then you put the red section into the into the main bullets, then you add the eyes in through there, and you've got to get them just at the right angle and kind of lever them in. The teeth, the top ones went in really easily, the bottom ones, were obviously a lot more difficult, but it was because the white was catching on this very bottom lip, so I just gave him a little squeeze with the pliers, and uh, it just made it clear that, and then it popped in, and now it's fine. I'm well pleased with that as a little model. It feels really nice and solid as well. I think it, that's, yeah, that's really nice. I like it. I did see someone's designed a cannon that this can sit in, that you can put it on your desk, and I might have to give that a try. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Just a quick little one. I'll see you in the next one.